In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of comfort and care, we are grateful for the ground at our feet, the wind at our back, the air that we breathe, and the friends we do not lack. God of presence, we are grateful for our fullness of mind, our ability to help, our knowledge of others, and our love of self. God of knowledge, you imbue us with knowing you so that we can know and love others and endure peace in the midst of chaos. And God of hope, remind us that your love for us brings life anew. All of these things we pray for in the name of your most holy son, Christ Jesus. Amen. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2020 Virtual Faculty and Staff Institute Day. Thank you, Aquia, for that opening prayer. We're going to begin with the years of service honorees. This year, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 years honorees. All of these honorees will receive a years of service pin as well as a certificate. And uh, our faculty and staff that have been here 15, 20, and 25 years, they'll also receive a glass plaque. After the years of service nominees, we will next move to the presenting the staff recognition awards. These are staff members who incorporated the Franciscan values into their work in such a way that other people really wanted to notice and acknowledge. Next, we move into the three faculty and staff awards called the Presidential Award for Civic Action and Engagement, the Teaching Excellence Award, and the Campus Leadership Award. Each of these recipients will receive a wooden plaque. And this year, we've included a special 2020 Pandemic Heroes Award. More about that when we get to that slide. Last, we honor those faculty and staff who will be retiring this year. They will be receiving a beautiful glass plaque that commemorates their years of service to Stretch. So please sit back and enjoy the 2020 Faculty and Staff Institute Day. There is much to celebrate today.
This honoree is described by their nominators as embracing the entire Stritch community and consistently going above and beyond to demonstrate pride and love for us all. They understand the importance of building relationships with people in every corner of the university and go out of their way to engage in university activities, including cheering on our wolves during sporting events, theater productions, and by participating in stretch masses. Nominators note that as a leader, this honoree is quick to set aside their ego and shine the spotlight on their team while they wholeheartedly celebrate and acknowledge the good work done by others. They are selfless, genuine, humorous, and talented. This honoree's community connections, visceral embrace of the Franciscan values, true sense of goodness, and deep-down awareness of just what Stritch means to the people it serves and the community it touches are what make her an outstanding colleague and person. This honoree makes Stritch better, and we are lucky to have her. Congratulations, Kathleen Hole. This honoree has worked for Stritch for 14 years and has provided amazing care, wisdom, guidance, and support for students and the whole Stritch community. Their nominators say that most recently, the honoree's in-depth knowledge in their field, connections to the community, collaborative spirit, and commitment to Cardinal Stritch University and its mission have been displayed amidst the coronavirus pandemic. During this time of pandemic crisis and change, this honoree has compassionately reached out to individuals with health issues and concerns while also building new connections and new processes for providing care. They are kind, compassionate, and as of our time working from home, becoming an Instagram and Canva pro. She is an invaluable asset to Stritch, and her cheerful and caring demeanor make working with her a joy. I am thrilled to congratulate Sally LaRosa as one of this year's honorees. Hey there, this is Andy Riza, co-chair of the Staff Development Committee, bringing you another award winner. This nominee had multiple nominations. Let's see what they had to say. This nominee is often in the background, doing a job that doesn't get a lot of attention, but their work is not only important to their office, their work is important to donors and staff as well. What this nominee does ultimately helps Stritch be a stronger institution and best serve its students. They are among the hardest working individuals the nominators know and are always willing to help their colleagues do their best too. A nominator said, as a behind the scenes worker, I know that other staff at Stritch don't have a clue what this nominee is doing for our students in our university, but having worked closely with them, I know they work diligently behind the scenes to make sure processes are completed correctly and on time. Working in higher education isn't always easy, and when it gets me down and others down, they are there with a kind word or an offer to walk around and let me vent. They'll tell me stories of students and staff that make me smile and remind me why we work so hard here for our students. They are a kind and genuine person who has long escaped this recognition for all of the small community building and caring things they do. This nominee is just a friendly presence. Their work ethic and ready smile creates a caring community. Congratulations, Curtis Weir. Andy here again, here to announce our next winner. This nominee also had multiple nominations. Their nominators had this to say. This nominee exhibits all of the Franciscan values every day in their work at Stritch and with every interaction they have with other staff, students, and faculty members. They are engaged and committed towards helping people and continuously improving processes and workflows to ensure the resources available to the Stritch community are understood and easy to use. They have also recently stepped up during the COVID-19 online migration, providing key training to faculty and staff members, as well as working one-on-one -on -one remotely with various students to ensure a seamless transition to a 100% online format. They make sure to be available to all users, giving out cell phone numbers, or quickly responding to emails, and even coordinating technology loans like laptops, cameras, mics, etc., to faculty and students. Being there for the Stritch community is nothing new for this nominee. A nominator says, I've observed them work with a variety of people from all backgrounds and abilities, and they are always comforting, welcoming, and willing to put forth the extra effort to ensure people can succeed. They are a diamond in the rough and a consistent key contributor to all that is good at Stritch. Overall, this nominee is a positive and friendly person. They are a great employee and someone I'm happy to consider a friend. Congratulations, Jessica Lynn Mould.
I'd like to begin with the Cardinal Stritch University Presidential Award for Civic Action and Engagement. This nominee has a strong record of incorporating civic action and engagement into her teaching, research, and service. And true to form, her efforts over the past academic year were as vibrant and multifaceted as ever. Examples of her exemplary work in the civic action and engagement realm include the following. In collaboration with Professor Mark Berges, our nominee played a lead role in working with her freshman seminar students to organize the simulation component of the El Laberito Experience, an experiential education event centered on the topic of immigration. In a citizenship legal clinic, her students served as interpreters, employing skills and knowledge developed through their professor's instruction and support. This nominee was part of the Common Read Committee focused on the Book of the Unknown Americans, where she interviewed author Christina Hernandez and her students participated in the planned activities for a memorial campus visit with the author. This nominee was an active volunteer in the greater Milwaukee community, actively participating as a volunteer and an expert resource. This nominee is known for her gentle but unwavering commitment to the issues of equality, empowerment, and democracy. She has clear values about what is fair and just and lives out those values every day in her actions in, in service to our students, the university, and the greater good. So please join me in congratulating Professor Marilyn Jones as the recipient of the 2020 Presidential Award for Civic Action and Engagement. Next up is the 2020 Teaching Excellence Award. Our nominator wrote the following. Among higher academia in the sciences, many professors are perceived as less qualified to act as professional educators because often their experience in our discipline is so far removed from the formal pedagogy and teaching methods of trained educators. Despite this fact, there is a great need for STEM educators that are truly able to impart difficult scientific concepts in a tangible way. Our nominee's methodology for better than 30 years in the business has exemplified ex exceptional teaching. Whether it is her pumpkin case study to teach the concept of heredity or her use of the tubers and pins to understand protein structure, our nominee is brilliant at creatively and experientially developing lessons in the classroom that come alive for the students. She has taught us to involve the student in their instruction, not to dictate them. In the classroom, our nominee is well known for using all the tools of the trade, including clickers, scratch-offs, puzzles, CSI cases, models, and naturally many lab techniques in presenting the core concepts of biology. Her development of these learning methods has led to many publications in reputable journals, such as Biocene, that appeals nationally to undergraduate science educators. As a consequence of her reputation in this area, she was asked to serve as the journal's editor for several years. Our nominee has been a fantastic advocate for the use of assessment data to evaluate and improve our programs. With her guidance, our curriculum has improved and has grown such that she has become known as the assessment guru. She shared her assessment knowledge with the university when she served several times on committees in preparation for past accreditations. For 30 years, countless science majors have come to know our nominee as the face of the department. She has been their lifeline as an advisor for registration or a shoulder to cry on when plan B had to be discussed and discovered. Her office is often a revolving door of students changing classes or needing some one-on-one -on -one instruction on a tough biological concept. So please join me in congratulating 
Dr. Deb Moyler as the recipient of the 2020 Teaching Excellence Award. Next up is the 2020 Campus Leadership Award. Our nominator wrote the following. Throughout his career at Cardinal Stritch University, this nominee has demonstrated exemplary leadership from daily interactions with students to chairing university committees and through leading a division through a doctoral redesign. Through his organization, attention to detail, ability to read the room, and his commitment to a final quality product, he worked the faculty through a process that allowed every voice to be heard. This nominee would say, quote, I have a chart for that, end quote, and he would produce a chart that explained the steps, the outcomes, whatever we needed, he had thought about ahead of time and came prepared to serve as our leader. He continues to demonstrate this same great leadership with his work on the College of Graduate Studies work group. When this nominee was a brand new faculty member, he was asked to lead the MEL program. In doing so, he streamlined processes, organized the MEL update meetings, and taught courses, receiving excellent evaluations. He pays very close attention to the student experience in the MEL programming, ensuring that the students are challenged by practicing educational leaders. He has expanded his work as a leader in the principal preparation through his work in the Principal Center Group, which is a consortium of principals throughout Southeast Wisconsin who meet monthly for professional development. Our nominee is the liaison between this group and Cardinal Stritch University. Our nominee is also led in leadership roles within the HLC review in 2018, co-authoring a criterion and helping with the review team visit. He also co-leads the distance, the learning committee. One of the most important part of his leadership is that he has happy followers. He has followers who are impressed with his organizational talents, his ability to keep an agenda moving, and his kind and gentle spirit that motivates those around him to want to do their very best. He truly epitomizes servant leadership and leads by example. So please join me in congratulating Dr. Eric Dimmitt as the recipient of the 2020 Campus Leadership Award. Finally, I'd like to conclude with a special 2020 Pandemic Heroes Award. Our nominators wrote the following. Since we returned to campus very briefly following spring break, this group has worked together to provide timely professional development to the entire campus community. Beginning on March 12th, after the announcement that all classes would be conducted online beginning on March 16th, this group offered online support in many ways for the campus community, including weekly professional development conferences on various topics to help us better understand our students, weekly virtual faculty staff gatherings, which kept us connected as a, as a campus community, and timely individual feedback on the nuts and bolts of various teaching tasks, such as setting up online quizzes. Whenever we've been stuck on one or another teaching task this semester, members of this team have responded to our questions clearly and in a timely manner. This group has demonstrated outstanding leadership in a very challenging semester. As a team, they took a strong leadership role and invested both professionally and personally in significant ways to lead the entire university community for, through the first two months of our response to the pandemic. Their initiative and engagement this semester has been far above and beyond expected service. We acknowledge that our effectiveness in teaching this semester was possible because we had great support of this team. So please join me in congratulating the entire Center for Excellence in Education and Innovation team. Carol Bronson, Linda Deesh, Jessica Mould, Holly Neroni, and Annette Van Horn as recipients of the 2020 Pandemic Heroes Award. It seems 
strange to be saying words of congratulations and farewell to Dr. Miller on her retirement, but that is what these words are. Chris has been a great colleague, friend, and mentor. From Chris, I learned about curriculum, nursing theory, and nursing philosophy. She is one of the few people that I know that truly had an appreciation for it. She will be missed for her vast knowledge of nursing and higher education. Chris is the consummate professional. She believed that it was not just okay to be a member of an organization. Paying money was not involvement. She believed that one should be active and she lived that. As a result, Chris was on committees and held offices in the Wisconsin Nurses Association and Tau Sigma, the Stritch Chapter of Sigma Theta Tau International, the International Nurses Society. She was also active in her church and in her book club and sewing club. Also, she never stopped learning. Several, several years ago, she became a parish nurse. Chris also took care of her students. She would personally interview every candidate for the master's program. Yes, she was screening candidates to ensure they were qualified, but she also saw it as an opportunity to meet each student and to get to know them before they ever started the program. She wanted to make sure they had their questions answered and they were ready for the coursework. Chris also took care of the faculty as well. You may not have tasted any of her treats, but she is an excellent baker. Chris always brought treats to committee and faculty meetings. They were often a welcomed relief in the middle of a long meeting. Chris will also be missed for her friendship. She will be missed for the chats we had. Whenever I needed a break from what I was doing, I could go to her office, have a little sweet treat, and enjoy good conversation. Sometimes we talked about classes we were teaching or research. Sometimes we would kibitz about the university and the world. Many of the world's problems were solved in her office. Chris, enjoy your retirement and I hope the summer is not too hot so that you can get in a lot of golfing. Hi everybody, this is Joanne Clevey here to offer a few words about Nancy Moreno. Nancy will be leaving us at the end of the month to retire. Nancy has been reporting to me for a couple of years now, but since we've both been at Stritch for a while, I have known her for much longer than that. She is one of those people who is so inspirational to me because of her commitment to our students and dedication to her work. While we are so sad to see her go, I am also so pleased to have had the opportunity to get to know her a little better over the past couple of years. I'm sure that Nancy is looking forward to being able to come and go as she pleases and sleep in late after a strenuous concert rehearsal. Nancy is quiet and kind, diligent in her work, and just about the most attentive to the details that I have ever seen. So Nancy, on behalf of the DEPA team and all the members of the Stritch family, we wish you all the best in your retirement. selfless, caring, kind person I've ever had the pleasure to work for. Lori's one of the most dedicated people I've ever worked with. And it's just unbelievable uh, the amount of work that you do and put in for us and for the students and for Cardinal Stritch as a university. At heart, she's not just a librarian, she's also a teacher. I've always admired and appreciated Lori's commitment to teaching. Lori went out of her way to help the students. Even as a library director, Lori taught numerous classes, met one-on-one -on -one with graduate students, and promoted information literacy as a primary service of the library. Lori has always been incredibly generous with her time. She's always willing to listen. She's always willing to help. 
whether it be with library staff, patrons, or student workers. However she could help them, she did. And the students loved her for it. And that's inspiring. Isn't that exactly what we all hope to give to our students here at Stritch? Thanks for being a great advocate for the library and everybody who works here. She's been involved in almost every facet of the library's operation. Part of Lori's legacy to the library will be the Cianciola Children's Book Collection. Through her hard work, dedication, and stewardship, this collection has grown to many thousands of volumes and continues to grow. Thank you for giving so much of your time, so much of your heart, so much of your soul to all of us here. We'll miss you, Lori. You are going to be so missed around Stritch, um, not just by uh, myself and our fellow librarians, but by the community as a whole. The library won't be the same without you. Thanks for everything, Lori. Enjoy your retirement. Lori, I know you love children's books, but there aren't a lot of children's books out there about retirement. So instead, I thought I would give you a vision of retirement for you and Mark from The Owl and the Pussycat by Edward Lear. They dined on mints and slices of quince, which they ate with a runcible spoon. And hand in hand on the edge of the sand, they danced by the light of the moon, the moon, the moon. They danced by the light of the moon. Happy retirement, Lori. Hi, this is Peter Jonas, and I'm a professor at Cardinal Street University. And I'm here to say goodbye to a good friend of mine, Deb Hanks. Deb is retiring after 30 years of working with the university here. I've known Deb for that whole 30 years, as a matter of fact, which I think means we're both dedicated and both older than you at this particular point. But I just wanted to say thanks to Deb for everything she's done at the university. She, in my opinion, really worked with students, um, was a little bit of a renaissance person, you know, was able to teach accounting, she taught business, she was in the traditional program, she got transferred into the College of Business, worked for different colleges, if you will, transitioned through all of it, and I think through all of it, she never lost sight of the students. But more importantly, she also worked for faculty and staff. I mean, she was very dedicated to faculty and staff. In fact, I'd have to say that, that her and I got into a little bit of trouble a, a, lot, a lot, maybe, over the years. Um, just trying to fight for faculty and fight for staff to, to bring the Franciscan values to everybody, to make sure that everything was equal, to, to help the university to move forward. And that's the biggest legacy, I think, that she leaves with us and that is that she worked with us and not only at the university you know she was dedicated and and i really think that she did so much good behind the scenes on committees and with faculty and writing curriculum and things that that aren't blown out in the front but but are really basic and really important to the sustainability of this university so Thanks, Deb. Thanks for getting me into so much trouble over the years, and thanks for all of your dedication. I'm really going to miss you. Hello, I'm Dan Meir, and I'm speaking on behalf of Deb Moiler. Uh, we started off our relationship as uh, teacher and student. It was my senior year at Stritch when she started as a first-year faculty at Stritch in 1988. So we've known each other nearly 32 years. We uh, had a lot of fun as a student and teacher. She would uh, always uh, joke around with me and I always asked for oral exams because it would save me the time of writing everything down. Deb always used to comment that she would read my exams just in case I slipped something silly in there, but of course I never did. Uh, Deb has been a stalwart uh, supporter of the Department of Natural Sciences and the university as a whole. She has been involved in a lot of grant writing, a lot of advising for students, a lot of uh, writing for uh, reports to the outside uh, community. Uh, she is tireless in her dedication to the Stritch community, and uh, we are very happy that to have had this much time with her here at Stritch, and we look forward to her coming back as an adjunct occasionally, uh, just to touch base and have some more fun. 
she definitely embodies the Franciscan value of compassion. She is not afraid to uh, help people out even when they need a little more than a gentle nudge. She always uh, advises students when push comes to shove and they need to go from plan A to plan B to make sure that they complete their degree and they end up with a uh, useful career in the future. Um, Deb's legacy will be um, always being there when you need her. She served as a role model for many faculty, including myself, in both the classroom and as a leadership role, as the chair of faculty council. She has, has done it all in her tenure here and helped uh, many institutions and outside organizations. Um, thank you for all that you've done during your time at Stritch. You have been an inspiration to our students, our faculty, and our staff. And we look forward to continuing our relationship with you. Thirty-nine years ago, a fresh master's graduate from Marquette University, a first-generation college student, made her way up the road to Cardinal Stritch College, where she would teach thousands of students communication. Many of Sherry Fry Hartel's students over the years have also been first-generation college students. She has treated them with respect and care, focusing on the needs of each individual, guiding them through self-creation to be more mindful and effective communicators. Sherry loves Stritch. She and her husband Bobby were married here in 1987 in the old chapel and had their reception in Cardinal Lounge. Sherry has formed at least 4,500 learners over her years of teaching at the campus that is now Cardinal Stritch University. Each of those students has been a recipient of a level of empathy not often found in our world. Sherry's heart breaks for their losses. Her soul soars with their successes and happiness. And each of them is a better human being for experiencing her excellent teaching skills. Sherry is a pilgrim, a Franciscan pilgrim, having gone to Assisi. But for Sherry, pilgrimage is a way of life. Sherry has traveled the world. She does not go to be an exotic persona. She goes to learn and to become more. She brings back wisdom to impart to her students. She deeply comprehends the importance of intercultural communication, and she shares those perceptions in an unpretentious manner, guiding others on their pilgrim path. Hear messages from many of Sherry's former students and some former faculty colleagues as well. Mayor Carson notes that she cared if students learned. She cared about their being able to do something with what she presented. And she cared how she, as the instructor, could both instruct and lead. David Oswald says, Sherry's deep dedication to the success of each and every student entrusted to her care was her mission and her impact on those students remains immeasurable. Her legacy will be as one of the premier lay faculty in the history of Stritch, one who practiced the Franciscan values in every aspect of her service. The student voices proclaim her accomplishments. You have and always will be one of my biggest inspirations, Amanda Ferns. Sherry made an impact on everyone she came in contact with, Spencer Wren. Because I knew how much you care for me, I wanted to give my absolute best in class, Colin Hartman. I felt encouraged by her commitment to mindfulness and open dialogue in the classroom, truly one of the first safe spaces in my educational career, Tony Julo. To know Sherry is to know love. To know Sherry is to know Stritch, Mark Quistorf. When I think of those who have made the most impact on my life, Sherry is at the top of my list, Haley Feeling. She knows more about her field than almost anyone I ever met, but I still believed she was excited to see what else she could learn, Ben Redler. She truly believes in her students and pushes us to be the best students and people we can be, 
Sarah Blake. Thank you, Sherry, for not only impacting my life in a positive way, but for doing the same for countless other students throughout the years, Matthew Bratz. Her passion for life and love for others is what I strive for, Kelly Shrouth. Sherry is one of those teachers who, once you go into her classroom, you never come out the same, Donnie Williams. You are an integral part of Stritch and helped make my experience there so wonderful, Audrey Nowakowski. She set high standards for all her students, aiming to push them outside of their comfort zone to challenge them and ultimately bring the best out of them, Sarah Wolfram Collins. She saw the potential within myself, Felipe Oliveira. Her presence lights up a room, Casey Wren. Our profoundly rich encounters both in and out of the classroom will be remembered forever, Samson and Jessica Boehm. She gave me the tools to learn how to best be myself, Estrella Luciano Moreno. She is one of the greatest inspirations, Chanel Johnson. Sherry was always a beacon of selflessness and kindness, of inspiration and humor, of respect, and of course, style, Trevor Reese. She is a mother who fights for you when you feel that defeat is absolute, Ceci Agbley. You're an amazing professor, a mentor, a mother figure, a confidant, and a friend, Lisa Maracus. Sherry is hands down one of God's greatest creations, Davida Brown. You cry with your students, laugh with them, and hug them so tightly, I swear you might never let go, Brittany Holly. Sherry gives something beautiful and in doing so, sends a tangible message that she sees you as beautiful. Ali Jablonski. As these quotations have shown us, Sherry is unparalleled. As a supportive and knowledgeable colleague, she models the best that one can possibly be as someone who imparts wisdom to a hungry community. She feeds our hearts, our intellect, and even our stomachs with good things. She lives and breathes the spirit of St. Francis. Sherry Fry Hartel means everything to so many, and we will miss her constant presence desperately. In closing, I would like to thank everyone who made this year's virtual Faculty Staff Institute possible. As I watched a preview of this video and saw and heard about so many of our colleagues, I was reminded how fortunate I am to work with such wonderful professionals, but more importantly, such good people. You selflessly share your talents with our students and with each other and with our community. I know a lot of other businesses and organizations and even colleges and universities may refer to themselves as a family, but at Stritch, that is indeed a reality. I know that we've been able to navigate this new world in which we are living, working, and learning because of the Franciscan values that are at the core of all of what we do. I hope you'll be able to join us tomorrow, Friday morning, May 22nd at 9 a.m. to recognize this year's honorees and retirees and celebrate a memorable 2019-2020 academic year. Until then, see you tomorrow morning. <laughs>